As 2018 winds down, our social calendars fill up with holiday gatherings with family and friends. When you are the host of a seasonal gathering at home, it can help to be proactive by doing some planning and prep in advance to make sure you get to enjoy the festivities as much as your guests. The good news is that Stacy Sorling with the South Dakota Pork Producers is in with some great pork appetizer ideas that you can easily whip up to wow your guests. Yeah. It smells fantastic. You're making me hungry, Stacy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You know, pork is so versatile and there's so many different cuts that you can really wow your guests in so many different ways. So what makes this add a pop to your holiday appetizer? You know, I think because pork goes with so many different flavors and it's lean, um, you know, it works really well. So, I mean, as you're trying to maybe cut some of those calories as you're serving your guests um, some appetizers before the holiday meal, um, pork fits in well. Yeah, three ounces to 122 calories, not mm -hmm. bad. No. And you have some great smelling recipes right here that we're going to go I through. I do. So let's start with the pork meatballs and just explain what's in these. Okay, so these are the all-star pork meatballs. They're made with ground pork, which people kind of tend to forget about, is that ground pork kind of goes unnoticed. It's a lot like ground beef, but it's way more inexpensive in the meat case and can do about the same things as what you would usually use ground beef for. So in this is corn flakes, onion flakes, one egg, and you bake it, and then you make your own homemade sauce with ketchup, brown mustard, and uh, brown sugar. And so we make these a lot at a lot of events that we actually go to and hand out samples because they're easy to freeze um, ahead of time. Take them out of the freezer, add the sauce to them, bake them, and your guests would never know that you made them two weeks in advance. So let's go through the directions right here. First step, heat the oven to 375 degrees, and then what's, what do we do next? Uh, combine the pork, um, the onion flakes, the corn flakes, the salt, pepper, and egg. Um, mix it all together, and then stir together the ketchup, the brown sugar, and dry mustard. Um, add two teaspoons of ketchup mix to the pork. Um, as you can see, I just kind of made the sauce and put it on there. Um, you can use a Pampered Chef cookie scoop, make your meatballs that way. You can roll them and make them a little bit bigger and put them in a muffin tin, or you can make a meatloaf out of this recipe as well. And it says to put them in a muffin tin. Yes. That's different. Yes. So how does that help with cooking them? You know, it just separates them um, and depends on what size of meatball that you're looking for. So. And it says that it makes six to nine meatballs. How do you know how much you should make for your guests? You know, it just, I would figure, I mean, depending on what else you're serving. I mean, these meatballs go a long way, and they are very filling. So yeah, they're pretty large. They are. They I'm are very large. So we can see it a little bit. Yeah. It looks delicious. Thank you. Thank you. You know, and ground pork is lean, so mm -hmm. it actually works well for um, a lean meat in your holiday appetizers. Let's move on now to the ham and cheese muffins. Yeah. I've never heard of that before. You know, um, we made them last night, and my daughter approves. Um, she loves them to death. Um, the ham, it's just, I bought the really fine diced ham in a bag. It's cheese, um, flour, baking powder, salt, and an egg, um, and a little bit of buttermilk. You mix it all together. You put it in a muffin tin and made 12, um, 12 muffins, and... You bake it at 400 degrees, and 20 minutes later, you've got something um, to serve your guests in the morning. It's really easy. You can make it the night before and put it in the refrigerator and just warm them up. Now, say we celebrate our family gathering more in the afternoon or at night. Is this still something that we could bring? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, ham and cheese muffins, they are for any time of the day. Yeah, and you can save them for later for breakfast. Yes, you can. Mm, sounds delicious. All right, next we have... Bacon peanut butter cookies. So what Santa Claus wouldn't want bacon peanut butter right? uh, That's cookies what I'm um, left for him with a tall glass oh, of milk? There they go. <laughs> and so basically, this recipe is very easy as well. It's a pound of bacon. It's flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt. Um, you do the butter, brown sugar, and regular sugar. And then how we did them, instead of adding the nut, the salted peanuts, we do a cup of regular peanut butter, creamy, and a cup of chunky peanut butter. And so we mix those all together, um, add the bacon grease and the bacon at the end, and cook them at 375 until they look perfectly done. Wow. Have you ever used bacon before in other types of cookies? Um, not necessarily cookies, but ice cream and brownies. Okay, 
I just, I have never had bacon in a cookie or anything before, so that's, mm -hmm. it smells good and it, I'm sure it tastes great, but we also have some more directions. Let's go through those. So then you basically add the sugar, beat until creamy, uh, beat the peanut butter and eggs at one at a time, add the vanilla and the dry mixture, stir in ground peanuts and bacon. Uh, roll in the doughs into little balls like you normally would and then press with a fork to flatten. Sprinkle with a little bit of sugar and then bake eight to 10 minutes, then let cool. Mm. All right, let's move on to this next one now. Okay. So what do we have right here? So what we have here is our bacon tender sticks. Um, if you went to the South Dakota State Fair, you've probably tasted them. You can purchase them out of our office. So basically what they are is like cube tenderloin, um, wrap, put on a stick, and then wrapped in bacon. This is the seasoning that we use. It's like a honey rub. And these are our pig wings that a lot of people don't hear about, um, but they're the two front arm shanks of a uh, pig. And so basically, they're just a lot like wings. And wings are a huge hit as appetizers um, for parties. So why not, instead of using chicken wings, use pig wings instead? And this is the season that we, um, we this is a blended seasoning that we make at our office. And so basically, we sprinkle a little bit of that on, put it on. Um, on the Traeger or on your ga or gas or charcoal grill, um, cook until done. You can; these are already pre-cooked, so you could also just throw them into a crock pot, heat them up until fully heated at 160, and away you go. So these are pretty easy options to get ready. Easy if you're bringing it to a family yes. gathering. And let's talk a little bit more about the seasoning. Do you have other options that are up for purchase for people? This could be a great. I would even think Christmas presents for the cooker in your life. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you know, this is pretty much what we, we also sell a pork bacon uh, cheeseburger out of our office. Um, it comes in a patty. It's a 12 and a half pound box. There's 50 patties to a box. Very inexpensive, but delicious. And we also use the seasoning on it as well. Wow, this is great, Stacy. Thank you so much for bringing all of this in for us today. Yes, thanks for having me. If you're ready to prep up your holiday parties with pork, you'll find these great recipes through the Kelloland Living page at kelloland.com and by visiting www.sdppc.org slash recipes. If you're looking to pick up some of those bacon tender sticks and pig wings, you'll find those and the special seasoning at the Sioux Falls office at 4605 West Homefield Drive in Sioux Falls.